It's been a decade since she disappeared, but Courtney Stauffer's face is still seen all throughout Palmyra. I think everybody looked at Courtney as if it was her daughter. Community fundraisers have helped contribute to the $100,000 reward for information. Whoever's got the information, I just wanted to see that every day. So that haunts him. Courtney's dad, Scott, says she was the life of the party. In 2012, she decided to move in with her boyfriend into this apartment on Main Street in Palmyra, and it granted her independence, parties, drinking, no curfew. She made the rules. Court wasn't a saint or an angel. She was a kid growing up, you know, 21. On the night of July 29th, 2012, a neighbor alerted probation about an underage drinking party at Courtney's apartment. Her boyfriend, who was on probation and underage, was taken into custody. They made it seem like he was never coming back, like he was going away for five years. And that really drove my daughter a little frantic. The detective says later that night, Courtney met two male friends at a bar in Hummelstown. From there, they met up with another couple and drove to Harrisburg, where Courtney got into an argument with a woman and was asked to leave a bar. They left the bar, came out, collected Courtney and made her way back towards Palmyra. Her father says one of the male friends came back to her apartment. Police responded then to two 911 calls. The first at 3.12 a.m. after Courtney got into an argument with neighbors because she thought they called police earlier about the underage drinking party. When police arrived, one neighbor reported that Courtney kicked him in the leg. The responding officer said they had all been drinking and they should return to their homes. Then by 4.11, another 911 call from a neighbor saying Courtney was screaming, stomping on the floor and making threats. Whether it was stomping on the floor or whether it was a struggle, I don't know. Courtney's sister Kirsten says what happened after that is a mystery. I think in that time frame is when something seriously bad was happening. By 431, police arrived and say they knocked on her door. No one answered and they could see inside but didn't notice anything unusual. They only heard a dog barking. Five minutes later, police left. Police say the friend who stayed with her claims he left shortly before 8 a.m. and that Courtney was no longer there. He sent her multiple texts asking about what happened to her. The first red flag for the Stalfers, Courtney did not show up to meet her brother at the Lebanon County Farm Show. And I think he realized that there was something foul going on when she didn't call him. Police say there were no signs of foul play inside, but that she left her keys, cell phone, purse, shoes, and her car remained outside. That was kind of what we really realized. This just wasn't a walk away. <clears throat> that she's going to turn up. The community came together and searched for Courtney. Now 11 days since Courtney was last seen, forensic teams searched Courtney's and neighbors' residences along with some vehicles. Tips came in of Courtney's whereabouts. It's like finding a needle in a haystack at this point in time. Including a claim from Courtney's friend in 2014 saying Courtney was wrapped in a carpet and dumped in Memorial Lake. The lake was searched. It's been 10 years and we still have nothing and we're not a step closer to finding her. So that's just really painful to go through on a daily basis. Well, we need some closure. Just, um, and if she's still alive, just let us know. You know, just let us, we'll figure it out. And Courtney, if you're listening. Let us know where you're at. Get to somebody that can. We'll figure out how to get you back where you were. <clears throat> Once we get to you, you know, we can overcome 10 years. You can't overcome never. Jocelyn Howard, WGAL News 8.